Hello to YouTube and welcome to my tutorial on how to t set your own icons, fonts and toolbar styles for Rocket Dock. So first things first, I'm going to show you um, the Rocket Dock website www.rocketdock.com So here is where you download Rocket Dock and then when you've got everything all installed you'll come up with this really small rubbish kind of looking toolbar at the top of your page so the first thing you want to do is change the settings so i'm going to go default so you should answer. this will not fit your icons good right so first first off it comes up as this big thing but obviously not as this not this many icons because i've got all these and as you can see they're not all fitting on but what you want to do is you want to right click and dock settings now these are the best settings for me you might not want them but like i don't have items on my desktop if i just close this close oh no right well sh show desktop i don't have icons on my desktop or anything here these are just uh, um here because uh, they're actually open oh that's there right but so what you want to do is right click and dock settings now general um we'll start from up to down english I I always decide when it start up, store setting in a portable INI single user. Well, this really doesn't matter, but um, if you want, then sure. Um, minimize window to the dock. Let's just see what that does. Mm, I think I'm I'm not I'm not actually sure what that was, but never mind that. Um, running application indicators open and you want your items to be locked so you can't accidentally drag stuff off and then um, yeah because um, it doesn't drag onto your desktop it just poofs away and you can't find it until you put it back on so you want items to be locked all the time so icons I'd usually put it at um, average quality well it depends on your computer um, I do high quality but um opacity that's like um whether it's uh, how visible it is zoom or pick um i'm not sure i have that on anyway now this is the icon size and this will make sure it fits on the page so i'll have it about there Hold on. Hmm. Right, okay. Zoom, um, so zoom. That is how zoom in you want it when you go on an icon. Uh, that's pretty much up to you, but I'll probably have it down here. Um, here, something like that. About 35 pixels. Zoom width. Now that's how far out it goes. Oh no, it's not actually. It's um how many icons show up when you when your mouse is over. Because uh, if you had to zoom width all the way down to two, it's like uh, not much. I have it at four. And zoom duration. That's how long it takes. So 500 milliseconds. 100 milliseconds. I go for 200, maybe three. If we're about there. Yep. Okay. So position. Um, I always really have mine at top. Um, layering normal. Centering well. Obviously, I'd have it um zero percent edge offset. Now that's how far down it goes. Now I'd have it with just touching the top. We can just see the white. There we go. 
um, what are we on position and style. So my theme is actually I thought it was hourglass, but obviously not. No, I thought it was Vista Black, but no, it's Crystal XP. Don't know. I think I downloaded that one. I'm not sure. Mm, opacity. Mine's on full. Disable icon labels. That disables the whether you can see a name of it. But I'd have that one if I was you. And then the uh, font. Um, I have Tahoma bold and size 10 and call it white. Uh, shadow colour black. Outline colour black. Outline opacity now. Zero would be like really white. And then a hundred will be like proper black. I have mine about fifty. I'd say about fifty. Maybe a bit more. Sixty two. Yep, yeah, like that. Shadow opacity. Now this is how much shadow you see, like a hundred percent a lot zero percent not much at all but again something like 66 and maybe a little bit lower 60 and there we go um so then we've got behavior i'd have auto hide on so it's not at the top of your screen all the time but that's up to you Shut up, I'm recording. um pop up on mouse over i have that so it comes up if you put your mouse over the top and there we go so that's the settings for okay doc so now i'm going to show you um hold on that's too slow too slow there right so now i'm going to show you installing icons so oh we've already got one so you get you go and get add-ons and icons so um, let's just say um black just random like windows 8 icon packs one so so you have a uh, Windows 7 and you like the look of the Windows 8 icons well um, it's very hard to find but um, sometimes uh, but you click download file it's right here at the bottom and you need a program like WinRAR, WinZip7, WinZip, Win7 whatever but it's um, a unzip, unzipping program so I'm going to put that in my downloads folder and open it up um, what you do is add extract to this so then it'll come in a folder just not a, a right one and open it up and then you've got all these as you can see so like, different various icons but what you do is um, it's up to you whether you want to cut or copy but I had to cut so it's not in my downloads folder but you go to local DC program files Rocket Dock and paste it into icons. Okay, so then close that folder, right click, um, dock settings, icons. Oh no, sorry. Right, well, we'll just get um, da -da -da. what you want to do is when you're over an icon like Microsoft Office Word 2007, click icon settings any icon it depends but like um, on rocket dock it showed images of what icons were included in the pack come on load and here we've got icons so we're in the icons folder and icons windows 8 pack 1 so now i've got um, these windows 8 icons and uh, word and it's come up here so um, so that's how to install icons now I'm going to show you how to um, change the skin, which is like the look of it. Um, so here's a simple dark. 
let's just have a look at this image and it, as you can see it's like very simple but it looks very nice I think it looks very nice so I'm gonna get this one so see it's so it even tells you on some how to install but C program files rocket dock and skins but that's the default warning will not work that that's just a joke see right download file local to see down local to see sorry that well wherever your download folder is basically but downloads extract probably delete that as well simple dark and here it is so what you want to do is well just get this cut so local to see program files where are we rocket dock and what are we on skins and as you can see I've got all these skins so they're the basic ones I think I've got one other one but um paste see I've already got it actually but um yep we'll merge it anyway do this for the next three conflicts move and replace so then we're gonna right click dock settings style and what was it something dark simple dark and there you go um it's not very visible but it's okay so then now i'm going to show you um that's actually it and yep that's it um I was um it's the same for wallpapers. Um let's just get a wallpaper. I don't know whether I download this, so I was gonna download it before. Right, we'll download file and save file downloads and download Windows 7 ring extract delete can delete that as well and here we are we've got a png um windows 7 background so since christmas is over i'm gonna click set this to stop background and voila brilliant i like that picture actually yeah really nice um but i'm actually just gonna cut local dc local dc pictures um desktop background picture oh look I've already got it oh stupid me oh well I just forgot to set it well we'll uh, move and replace why not and so that's basically all you need to do um there's misc uh, which are uh, mainly cursors but like look um I'll actually I'll show you the cursors. Yeah, let's show you the cursors. Animated charming cursors. What are these? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do I want to install any cursors? I already, I already installed some. But not from here. Because they're not, they don't seem to be very good on here. The cursors are pretty boring. Uh, I don't want to get any animated ones in case they don't work. But look, Macintosh. I love Macintosh icons. So why don't we check these out? We will download file. See, so it even tells us here. So, local disk, windows, and cursors. Go to personalization or cursors, and you choose the cursors that you want. So, download file. Downloads. It's actually handy that he told us that because I have no idea. I remember doing it, but uh, I forgot how to. So we're gonna go to downloads, extract. Let's just delete this and this. So you've got all the cursors here. So what you want to do is cut local DC windows cursors and 
person here. Now I think the way you do it is control panel and then it's mouse and cursors or something. Mouse and keyboard. Maybe cursors. No, mouse, mouse, pointers, and see, I've got these, but um, what was it called? Mac, why is it not showing? Why are you? Oh, um, what was it? Browse, uh, curses, and open. Oh. A normal select A and uh, supply what um Mac curses oh god I don't know Macintosh curses then bells. Open, open. So, yep, yeah, as you can see, it's given us the Mac cursor. Then the uh, help select. Bells, help select cursor, and they're all coming up now. Uh, working in background. So, you're uh, just going to have to do it like that, basically. It's cool because it's naming them how it is on here, so like. There'll probably be a busy one now, like, yup, yep. And I think they're animated. Well, they always animated, aren't they? But, stupid me. Position text. Position text. Uh, text select. Handwriting. Unavailable. Uh, it's good because it's got a, a little preview here. What we all know. Vertical resize. Vertical resize. Horizontal resize. I don't know whether I had these on my other PC. H. Horizontal. Diagonal. Image size one. I just pause it here, guys, so you don't have to watch me going through all this. Okay guys, so thanks a lot for watching, I know this video is a bit long winded, 20 minutes, but um, thanks a lot for watching, if you did watch, uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe if you think necessary. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you all later.